Why is no one talking about the bail-ins? Stanley Fisher, who is the real head of the Federal Reserve, gave a speech in Sweden back in August of 2014, admitting that bail-ins are coming to America really soon. When the bail-ins happen, this will give big bankers the right to steal your money legally, whether they want to steal a portion of your money or everything you have in the bank. Here is a quote from Stanley Fisher himself. Work on the use of resolution mechanisms set out in the Dodd-Frank Act it holds the promise of making it possible to resolve, by, resolve banks in difficulty at no direct cost to the taxpayer. As part of this approach, the United States is preparing uh, a proposal to require systemically important banks to issue bail inable long-term debt that will enable insolvent banks to recapitalize. So, what we can take away from this quote is that there will be no cost to taxpayers and that banks can regain more capital without government funding and instead they would do it by taking your money. For all of the doubters, just look at what they did in Cyprus. We want jobs and Troika get out of Europe, they shouted. Outside the parliament, high school students came to show their anger at the EU bailout deal. These students are the future workforce of this island economy. They now fear that future has been wiped out. Everyone's to blame for me and they need to get up and they need to go to jail. The people that are to blame, we want them to go to jail for because of our future. We have our lost future. Outside the Bank of Cyprus headquarters, another sign of the times, workers gathered outside fearing their jobs are now on the line. The bank chairman sparked their panic by resigning on Tuesday, apparently in protest at plans for restructuring and the losses being threatened on his bank's larger depositors. The EU's bailout deal for Cyprus requires a massive restructuring of the economy, away from decades of reliance on banking and financial services, all the things that used to drive the economic growth of this island and provide thousands of jobs. That adjustment will be extremely painful, and these people are only too aware of it. Where is the growth going to come from? The growth will come from the brains, the young Cypriot brains. We have plenty of those. Cyprus actually has uh, the largest number of very well-educated youth. In the immediate term, the day-to-day struggle continues. The banks are still shut, day 11. The limits on how much cash you can withdraw, if any at all, are still in place. And in downtown Nicosia, this well-known store hasn't had a single customer all day. Elsewhere, there are reminders of recession and hard times. The banks are due to reopen on Thursday, although no one really knows. With or without limits and capital controls, again, no one really knows. The uncertainty that has frozen economic life here looks set to continue for a long time. They were given haircuts. The haircuts took part of their money. Now, if you do your research, these bankers have been waiting to hit us with the balance for years. Take a look at the Dodd-Frank Act and you will see that this is all a plan to grab your money when the bankers pretend to be bankrupt yet again. They can do this because we are categorized as creditors to the banks. We only loan our money to the banks. When the banks pretend to be ruined, they will divide up their net worth among the creditors. By the way, the banks can decide what their net worth is. Now, there are no jobs in America unless you work in a restaurant or hotel, but if you want a lucrative job, well... Better try moving to China or India. That's where all of our jobs were sent after the bailouts in 2008. Here in our own country, our cities are falling, our society has fallen apart. Bail-ins are coming. My advice? Get your money out now.
Having a good thing is having a good thing. 